Guys, we do not negotiate with terrorists. Here at Green Beret Chronicles, we don't play that mess. Your mind is a terrorist that you should never, ever negotiate with. In today's segment, we're going to discuss how to build the Special Forces mindset. I've been getting a lot of questions about this, mostly from young men who are trying to find a path to Special Forces. And they are starting to understand that in order to not only go down that path and succeed, they need to have a strong mind. Because I always preach at the end of the day that your body will be the first one to give out. But if your mind is strong enough, you will succeed. As it relates to combat, guys, you can get blown up and lose limbs and survive. You can lose an arm, you can lose a leg, you can lose both arms, you can lose both legs and survive. But your head gets blown off, you're dead. Over the past 38 or so years, this is what I've learned as it relates to mindset. There are two separate ways to build a strong mindset. Number one, a strong mindset could be built through environment or it can be intentionally developed. You always hear the saying that you are a product of your environment. In my case, I was born in Haiti, one of the poorest countries in the world. Through sheer perseverance, we made it out of Haiti. Mindset is starting to get stronger. Then I go to New York City, the projects, one out of eight kids, struggling, figuring it out, made it out of New York City, joined the military. Mine just got a tad bit stronger, joined the military, made it through basic training, get to my first unit, deploy, lost close friends, redeploy, deployed again, survive, Mind is starting to get sharper and stronger. Go to selection, join special forces, and spend 15 years doing the hardest thing that I could ever think of. My environment has shaped me and has built my mind through experiences. So who you see today is a product of my environment. Along the way, one essential element exists to help me build this mindset. Adversity. Whether it was Haiti, New York City, the military, I was always placed in certain situations that I had to overcome. I say all this to say that you cannot build a warrior's mindset or a strong mindset without adversity. If you take a quick inventory, I can tell you right now that 95% of Special Forces operators come from poor backgrounds, come from hard childhood or they have a criminal past of some sort, or they were immigrants. We all have similar stories as far as adversity, pushing through those and wanting to be the best at whatever life has to offer. Now let's say that you don't fall within those categories that I just described. How do you get a strong mindset? Do you move to Haiti and give it all up and try to recreate my past? Do you give up all your riches, become poor and start nugging it out? Not at all, guys. Option number two is you can develop that strong mindset. How do you do that? This is what works for me. I approach my mind like it's a muscle because it is. When I want to train arms, abs, or legs, I intentionally go to the gym with a plan to train that muscle group. But while I'm training that muscle group, what do I introduce to it? Adversity. Adversity in the shape of heavy weight. I'm putting a strain on the muscle to force it out of its comfort zone so it can grow. It's the same concept with your mind. You have to add adversity to your mind to make it expand, to make it grow. And those adversities will come in the form of you challenging yourself. So it all starts with when you wake up in the morning. Let's say you come up with a plan to wake up at four o'clock in the morning and four o'clock hits, your alarm clock goes off. That's adversity. What do you do? You wake up or you hit the snooze button. That's your first challenge. Let's say you wake up, that's a win. Mine just got a tad bit stronger. Next, you're gonna hit the gym and crush your workout. Do you push through that adversity? Do you go to the gym, giggle, push around, and do a okay workout? Or do you go to the gym, give it 100% and crush the workout? If you do, bam, that's another win. Just keep laying things along your path to challenge yourself and holding yourself accountable and making yourself go through it. Now, here's another important aspect to develop in your mind. So here's another important aspect to developing a strong mind. Accountability. 
What are you going to do if you don't achieve that task? How are you going to hold yourself accountable? Is it just a shrug of the shoulders and say, hey, I'll do better tomorrow? Because I can promise you right now, you won't do better. You have to do something that is outside your comfort zone that you don't like. So you know, whenever that action comes up again, like, hey, I better follow through or else I'm going to have to deal with the consequences. That is one way of developing and building a strong mind. So now how does that apply for when you get to selection or when you get to the point where you're going to be challenged? It goes back to accountability, guys, and doing exactly what you say you're going to do. I told myself I was going to wake up at four in the morning. I did it. That builds a little bit of confidence, gives you a stronger mind. You get to selection. Hey, I said I was going to finish selection. I'm not going to start letting myself down now. What do you do? You push through and you finish selection. It's as easy as starting at four in the morning and actually waking up and planning out your day just like so. You start with the small tasks and eventually when the tasks get bigger, it won't seem that big because you've been holding yourself accountable and doing exactly what you said you were going to do the entire time. Because I can tell you right now, when you fail to do something that you say you're going to do, the feeling that you get, the shame that you get is a horrible fucking feeling. So that's one way you can start as far as developing your mind. You have to do what you say you're going to do and you can't negotiate with the terrorist that is your mind. Guys, I hope this video was helpful in one way, shape or form. I appreciate you guys. Enjoy the weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday.